600 boy LA man, LA Capone man, get it to him man. Hey. Those are two boys man. T Rock with number nine man, number nine, shoot it on him. Black TV bro. OT up Nunu man, you know how we rock it man. Chicago is the mega of black ignorance. How could you say that? And you're from here, brother. I'm and you're part of it. I'm a, yeah. you you are, you're a part of you're it, bro. You're a solid background. Yeah. Oh, nigga, how many niggas bro. died to a DJ LB? <laughs> and and, and, I, and, and, and <laughs> honestly, bro, that's why I feel really fucked up. Bro. No, bro, I, you know what? I'm going to give you a harsh reality. Bro. No, the reality is. I'm going to give you a harsh reality, bro. That, that because problem. guess what? Without, with or without your beat, that nigga was going to still smoke that nigga at the end of the mm. Your music ain't had nothing to do with that nigga dying, but he died to your song. But it's not a but it's not a guilt trip thing. I'm not. Man, I'm, I don't I'm give not a fuck, bro. What I'm because saying niggas is, is gonna do nigga bro, shit at the you, end of the day. If you call, if you consider yourself conscious and you know what's going on, why wouldn't you try to wake up the people, bro? Like I really feel like we sending people off, bro. They not gonna make it, bro. All these niggas you record, all these niggas you sell me to, know. man, bro. I don't know. You what never you, know, okay, bro. So, okay, so how many people? On average. If you would have saw Famous Dex before he was Famous Dex, you, you, you would have known no, he was going to make it. Famous Dex has to compromise his identity to it get takes, on. It, it don't bro. matter what he did. It takes, bro. From it you does looking matter at what him. he did. From because you looking at him, you would know he got to sleep at night, bro. Everything is a He got to sleep at night doing what he's doing, bro. That's all it is, bro. Man, bro. I thought I was going to be in the league when I was hoping. But then I found music. And now it's paying But you family. found your niche. My you family. found the niche because you got a That's gift. These so look, niggas look, look. not gifted in this shit. Wow. You don't bro. know. We don't, we don't, you don't know. You don't know, bro. How y'all know? Bro, okay. If no, that's no, the no. case, hold on. If that's the case, then every nigga rapping, every nigga y'all talking about no, will be on right now. Right if that's that. the case, but none of these niggas is on, so they not good, bro. If you say that, then don't do nothing. It lies. No, no. I just think that people need to. What the fuck that's not? You might not be the best singer, but you might be a great doctor. You got to test the water, G. No, no, no. Okay, bro. This is not the time, bro. It's like, if you want to talk about it, this ain't the time. Now he's what? He's an N.I. No, but that's the difference. Difference is still in music, but that's a different time. What I'm saying is this: is that niggas is putting their whole 60, 70 years that they might live or they life based off a fucking mixtape. Niggas is basing the the, the fucking structure of their life on a fucking. We talking about niggas. Like, we talking about niggas. I bro, said, I, what did I, I say? Let me ask you this. I said a business man. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I'm here to motivate you, motherfucker. No, I'm not motivating none of you. Man, niggas. look. You I'm niggas better do niggas, other bro. shit, bro. Because none of you niggas is amazing. Even the hard, even the cold was having a hard time. Bro, if it's hard for LeBron James to score 100 points, you think your weak ass gonna come in the game and just be that nigga? Why would you want to be in something that you can't be that nigga in, bro? Like, bro, bro, Chief just, Keith got a record deal. A kid from the Inglewood, south side of that Chicago. That has nothing to do with anything. Bro. No, never. Because he was the first, <laughs> he was the first Doing what he did, which made him I'm, special. Should I debunk that? I'm yes. Debunk that. The hell no. I'm finna debunk it because Chief Keith wasn't the first doing that shit. No. Chief Keith ain't doing that. Every that, 10 to 15 years, run. this shit has it's to a, happen. Yeah, you're right. A new nigga like 50 and all that this shit. Yeah. Happen, but bro. I mean, niggas have never seen no shit like that ever. Okay. I'm gonna tell you the real. I'm but talking about on that level. About being conscious, I'm gonna tell you the real. Chief Keith was designed for niggas to kill each other. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Chief Keith. Chief keep sitting, man, bro. Keep kicked all this shit up. But the reality is, the boy, it's all right. No, bro. I'm. This is what I'm saying. The image of the black, the neo black male, dreads, dark skin, or dreads in general. Okay. But bro, if you, I, I guarantee you right now, if you got, if you, if you coming around any in law enforcement, any old people, any Caucasians, any motherfucker who have a a stereotypical mindset about what a black youth is. And you dark as fuck with some dreads. Not the long dreads, traditional African and Jamaican. I'm talking about the mop head shit. Bro, they're not going to think anything positive about you. I mean, period. I mean, first, they don't think, first of all, first yeah, of they all, already they don't think even think shit about, about me. It's fuck just, them. Right. Okay, we all going to just keep it clean. Fuck them. 
Because they don't even think about shit positive about you anyway. We have two low haircuts, man. And we was in a, a reputable hotel. And, and, yeah, and, and where we were staying at, but, 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 we were out But everybody out. felt more in danger of their lives if we had They felt meeting. in danger of their lives. No, they, don't, no, they just felt like, what the fuck is you niggas doing where we at? We're, like, we, that, was in, we was in LA. Is that not an endangerment? We messed, we messed That's a sign of endanger mm -hmm. if they have to uh, ask a question of I'm awareness. About, why are you here? Okay, if, four, if you see, if you're a police officer, you see four niggas with dreads in the car. What you think, bro? Every motherfucker that I done seen robbing a nigga out here either got a bunch of tattoos or dreads, bro. That's yeah, facts. That is facts, bro. You're not seeing no niggas in no suit like the 90s. Like the old niggas used to have walkable niggas to smoke their ass. It's not happening. Niggas is wearing the same uniform. It's the same fucking uniform they used to classify. I just want to say something. Just like in the 50s and 60s when niggas was frying their motherfucking hell. In the 70s when niggas had afro. In the 80s when niggas had jerry curl. In the 90s when niggas braids. had braids. It's the same shit. So and you niggas is... Man, so hold on. So if it's the same shit, then you got to realize who is the motherfuckers that's pushing out this same propaganda to our people then. I mean, I'm just as... The, okay. Them is just the hairstyles on the warrior class in the black community. The niggas that we consider G's, B's, folk on her stones, and all these areas. These is the general look. It was a point in time black stones was known by cornrows, nigga. Period. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So if I'm a gang intelligence officer, if I'm anybody and I'm generalizing you, well, that's not even the point. What I'm saying is with Dax, the reality is this. I'm not knocking nobody for getting no money in the white man's room. What I'm saying is this. Don't destroy your people in the midst of doing it, bro. Like, if you, if y'all sitting here telling me, listen, if do you think that something as good is coming from him saying, ain't shit good coming from none of this music bro, we're doing, bro. I'm mm. saying, I'm Nothing. saying, but, but then we have to blame niggas like what? That's hip hop, bro. That's hip hop, period, bro. Okay, you so you think hip hop is beneficial to the black community? Nothing that we have right now is beneficial yeah. to the black community. Yeah. Us Hell no. Nah. Gee, hip hop got niggas fucked up, bro. I said nothing that we have. Bro, you don't listen to the curse like everything else, bro. You're right, you're right. But what I'm saying is, it matters more. <laughs> Nigga, what's the difference between if I got a gun and I'm aiming a gun traditional way and I do it this way? In that case, it's hip hop. In that case, the way head trout, nigga, trousers is a European. Damn movies, then. I, I, I actually, I actually, no, I can't actually, say that. Well, hold niggas on. not watching the Terminator saying I'm killing it my opcas on the social media. The niggas bro. doing it. No, they hear me. Bro, that shit is influenced by the fucking movies. No, the okay, so the vi so the videos are the modern movies. So it goes back to my point. It's the fucking the the puppet right. masters right. is the one that's. Eligible for all okay, these problems, bro. So, so what I'm saying is this: y'all finna sit here and say that if you had a son and you trying to rear the right way, you wanted him to have a set life, and this nigga looking at famous dads, and he come in your house with red dress and tattoos. My son's not gonna face. be looking at famous. Exactly, exactly. So you, you, you. So obviously, if you not let him see it, he gonna listen to it regardless. He gonna find it on his own. Man, you, you can't stop. Where y'all see, man? Y'all niggas. Listen, crack. Bro, I'm not, listen to me, bro. Listen, calm down. Listen to me. I said yeah, yeah, he gonna he's gonna find one. it regardless. But if I tell him not to listen to it, nigga, and if I catch you listen to it, I'm gonna beat your ass for listening to it because exactly. I don't want you listening exactly. to it. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Period. We know that it's not good and it's detrimental to. Our baby, we know that shit. Okay, I can't, I can't with a cut. This is how I feel. Y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. Way bigger. No, it is way it's bigger. Hell, bro. Man, bro, we not just producers. We're it's not just we. We owe a responsibility to the community we belong to. It's way bigger issues than that, bro. Man, what? What's bigger than that? Okay, because y'all way bigger, like C6 said, than produced. You guys are influential to the hip hop community as a whole. How much did this did, did this war uh, uh, affect you guys? You know what I'm saying? This this GD BD war. To be honest, I'm not GD or BD. So it doesn't. It don't, the reality is, is that I don't understand how. And I'm gonna just be honest. I don't understand how. You know, I understand niggas that. But the reality is, you know, I come from an era where you know niggas. Everybody was under a situation where they, you know, we was all kids. Mm -hmm. Then the, my first, I'm gonna speak for myself. My first introduction on some street shit to seeing it was Lil Lex. Like I had never seen no nigga from Town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had never seen no yeah. nigga just control people like that. I mean, niggas to talk about whatever they want, but I went to the skating rinks. That's why I fell in love with hip hop. Well, I was learning under DJ Larry and DJ Royal and niggas like that that was making tracks. Niggas forget the tracks. 
You used to just diss see. other niggas, bro. Yeah, talk, real talk. Niggas used to die over footwork tracks. Real what? Talk. So yeah, no matter what form of music it is in Chicago, we gonna find a way to fuck it up because it it's innately in the culture of what we got going on, bro. Niggas don't remember we used to be in the ring, bro. It used to be kids that was actively gangbanging. That was actively gangbanging, actively plugged in. But there was some kids that just was going out trying to kick it, get bitches. You know, just live their fucking life, bro. The reality is, is that that anti-GD sentiment, niggas ain't gonna be it, but it came from dude and them, bro, because, man, bro, every motherfucker that I was around, bro, if they were, if you if you wasn't GD, bro, they was on that with you, bro. And it just, I feel like at that time that grew so much. And, see, a that's, and that's the problem. Because that's the see, problem, bro. And I'm gonna break down yeah, what, right. what was going on before that. See, I was the era a little bit older than them, so I'm like the bump era. But bump this shit. Little less is the kids, the goon squad kids. Like they the goon squad baby. So, but when bumping them was cracking, we was doing, we was doing it. wasn't no GD, wasn't no BD, nigga. It was nigga. You in or you out? Mm. It was Goon Squad, nigga. It was White yeah, Tees, nigga. Yeah. It was nigga. We had SDs, nigga. Latin Disciples, nigga. Motherfucking uh, Blackstones, nigga. CVLs, TVLs, UVLs, nigga. Nigga, Imperial Gangsters. Everything. Everybody was a part of Goon Squad. This younger generation, that this dumbass shit, is what caused all this stupid shit. So I blame they ever for that dumbass yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest. Really I stupid. feel like I'm gonna be honest. Z, a At lot the end of, niggas, of the day, a lot of I come from an era when niggas was clicked up getting bread mm -hmm. and getting paper. All this dumb nigga hop out and pop you for nothing. And then a lot of these niggas that's beefing with each other, cousins. I found out you niggas is related to each other. You niggas is a bunch of niggas, and y'all just really just doing dumb nigga shit. How you gonna kill your cousin on some <laughs> gang? You leave it. It's your family. This nigga come out your motherfucking uncle nutsacks with your father's brother. This your fucking family. You gonna kill him because of a gang? And this your bloodline? Come on, man. This generation fucked up. Can it ever be fixed? Would it ever be fixed? It, 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 it's a possibility that it could be fixed, but you know, the people gotta wanna get fixed. These motherfuckers don't wanna get fixed. You got people that wake up in the morning instead of them going to drink a cup of water. And uh, <laughs> brand or whatever, they gonna get up and go get flame hot some cheese. But see, I stay in the hood, bro. I look out my window, my nigga. I stay on the nine, nigga. I stay in the hood. 119th, nigga. <laughs> and, 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 and I look out my window and I see motherfuckers eating chips and cheese in the fucking morning. What's wrong with that? What's wrong That's with that? That's horrible. That's not good. You weren't raised on that shit. What nutrients is that? Yeah, I mean. What yeah. nutrients is that for your body, man? What productiveness? <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing for your body? I'm going to just be honest with you, bro. Now, I'm saying, I'm speaking on that because of the mentality of our people. That's the first thing you I think mean, about getting the reality people. is, I'm going to just put it out there. You got shit like the V Live opening. You have oh, a thousand oh, yeah. of that. They changed their name to be like. <laughs> These hoes. But look, they do that for it to be strippers. They run in line to be strippers. But to be mothers, to take your kids to school on the first day, none of you niggas show up. It's not, you, man, the motherfucking V Live stripper audition look like an Operation Push Nation of Islam rally. Like, there was, was, was nothing but standing room in that motherfucker. But, man, that's what the, the society we live in. And the reality is it's fucked up because I feel sorry for the motherfuckers who got to pick mothers from this bunch. This your mama. I remember back in the day when a nigga, if your mama used to come up to the school in the household, niggas would get out on it. Niggas would get out on it. Niggas would be like, man, your mama yes, that's a hoe. This generation But now that your mama is a stripper, oh, my mama, uh, she got you in glasses and all that. Like, the reality is we just have lost our ability to run a nation. I blame hip hop, other niggas blame other shit. The reality we is. We lost our ability to have leadership due to materialism. Yeah, man. And the narcissism. Niggas, wor niggas worship Rolexes and big That's what more it is. Family, people bro. are too busy doing this. So is social media causing this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. People are I mean, too busy. Media just I go outside and I go and I ride past a bus stop and I see this. Damn. That's the, yeah, that's the hard reality, bro. Well, I see this. Well, motherfucker can't even walk, boy. You gonna bump into get your boot ass out the way. You bumping into me, you can't even pay attention. Cause you ain't your phone. Wake up. Get your ass out your phone and look at what God created. Look at the planet, man. I just really feel sorry, you know, for the youth, man, because the reality is there's no answer. 
You, man, this generation we, fuck, man. You we, got we, mamas and sons sharing uh, Facebook and stuff. I mean, you got you got Come mamas on. twerking in the same room as they son. No, you got mamas getting bust down in the same room as the son. Yeah, Yo, like I mean, he we the reality. He won't. He won't though. The reality Damn. is, because you know you need. And then you grow you. up. You grow up seeing that happen to your mother. Like you grow up broken. So we broken people raising broken people. Wow. Like we're broken on every level, bro. Like a whole way from slavery, bro. I was just gonna say you know, broken, what, bro. And niggas like to disregard this, but I don't care. Master cracked that whip and he cracked it good on our motherfucking back, bro. Cause nigga, that shit crack today is still cracking on our back. Bro. Yeah, and I mean, whether you like it or not, you can turn your nose, you can turn your head, you cannot give a fuck. I don't care, nigga. We still going through it, nigga. You gotta understand, it's a it's a new age. Like the age we in now. This phone is slavery, bro. I mean, how? How? I mean, because look, we subject ourselves to it every day. I mean, wow. you don't, you, come you on, see, big bro. It you was a point in time we remember parent. phone numbers, bro. I used to remember phone numbers, bro. I don't remember a number. I don't remember shit. <laughs> Only number I remember is my mama number, bro. It's the de-escalate. Yeah. Damn, the, don't remember that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she ain't had that the, phone, the, phone the, 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 I mean, the, the, the de-escalation of cultural ties. Like, the reality is, this shit don't have a solution because, you know, I don't give a fuck, like, I put it like Ken Yeller, like, I respect the fact that he want to do the whole, let's stop the violence thing. No more. The no more movement. And that's a good, that's, that's a good great. random man. But look, nigga shot, bro, you know what I'm saying, in, in the midst of shooting a video. I feel like a brother like him that I feel like is intelligent. Like, fuck rap. I understand he got a certain amount of, you know, things that's going on with him. But I feel like a nigga like Ken Yella but in this could, could be a motivational like speaker. That might because be. Because the first, like, and, I'm, and, and a lot of niggas do be feeling like if I give up on this dream. Like, Martin Luther had, Ken had a fucking dream. Then he woke the fuck up. He woke up. At some point, you, a lot of us dream about different shit, but then we got to wake up in reality. Like, I, my dreams right now is to be Metro Moon. But the reality is, I gotta be ill and do what I need to do for myself to attain the level of success I want. Mm. Most of these niggas are not committing themselves to excellence. So since they're not doing that, like prime example, I tell a good story, bro. This is bring it home for everybody who not agree with me. When I first met her, and we first start fucking with the person that's dealing, we dealing with now, uh, I never forget it, how I first met Cece. We came to a studio. It was, uh, I think it was uh, up north somewhere. No, out west. Soundscape. Soundscape. And I thought that I was the best producer because my circle of friends told me, hey, you hot, nigga. Ain't no nigga better than you because these niggas believe that, believe that shit because you need they, that, though. I mean, you need that, that, but that's what it is. What I'm saying is, it might have been good, but it was also bad because they were realistic. Or maybe they didn't even know what quality was. We bring Harvey Bibby in there, play, play a shit, he plug up first. Play me out the road. <laughs> Most amazing shit I ever heard. I was heated. I'm like, how could this nigga be this good? I was really mad that he was better than me. The wow. brother came, listen, the brother came to me. Was like, no man, you know what I'm saying? It's enough room for everybody. He gave me drums, helped me improve my crap. That's where I'm at the level I'm at today. A lot of these niggas don't have people that are better that reach out to say, hey bro, you're you might not, not on the level where you should be, and not even to say that, but these are things you can do to improve yourself. Even if they know that your shit fucked up. And that allowed me to grow as a producer because I had to bump my head to know I wasn't where I needed to be. These niggas are not concerned with skill. So since they're not concerned with skill, it's not an issue to them to grow. It's not an issue to them to grow. So niggas see Young Thug and, and Lil Uzi, too much sucks. Because too much suck. Black, And niggas too. think that that is the equivalent of being a man, bro. But that's, not. That's, a, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. We had a plateau. That is considered We plateaued. Growth. That's, we plateaued. A, that's considered growth. That's fucked up. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That, that's that's fucked up, bro. In the feeble mind, that's considered growth. That's fucked up, bro. That that that's how. And the fucked up thing is that the person that's on the out, the, the the person that you're looking at knows that he's doing more, but he's only gonna present this to you and let you think that that's growth. They not gonna motivate you and gonna tell you to go do nothing else. They gonna tell you to pop. And I'm gonna put this out here like this. 
and, and, and I'm gonna put this out here. We gotta, we gotta understand this. I'm gonna put it since we put everybody accountable. I'm gonna just hold everybody accountable. With Chop and Keith, when they got on, when they was the young guys that got on, them niggas was, it's just us. No reason. It's just us. The BDs, whether you love them, you hate them, they insulated themselves. Yeah, they, they didn't expect. They finally had a chance. They finally had a chance. They insulated. Insulation. So look, the reality is, if I would have never worked with her, if her, if he, if he would have never did uh, Val Venus with Louie, this all post Keith. If he would have never worked with Mouse, you niggas wouldn't have hope because niggas would have stopped because. Mm. Shop went reaching out to other producers at the time, like, you know, let's work it. Hell no. He was like, nigga, I'm young Shop. We hot. And I hated folks for that. Because I felt like, man, G, 